this this uh, this rules change that everybody thinks got solved yesterday. Let me briefly, as I understand this, tell you what's going on. There was an attempt, the rules committee yesterday, to change the rules of the convention in determining who the delegates to the convention are from the various states. And to strip away all of the BS, the purpose of the rules change, which was orchestrated by Ben Ginsburg, but you know, he's working for Romney, but he's the, it's, the, it's the establishment GOP. The express purpose is to eliminate any influence of Tea Party activists or grassroots people or conservatives, essentially, from having any power at future conventions. It would allow the presidential nominee to determine who the delegates to the convention are in future conventions. That was the purpose of the rules change. And as of last night, it was supposedly beaten back. Now, there is talk of an end run at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Brian York has a piece on it at the, uh, at the Washington Examiner. Despite reports of a compromise... There is still substantial unhappiness among many delegates to the convention over a package of party rules changes proposed by the Romney campaign. The fight could break into the open today as delegates debate various proposals to resolve the conflict. Now, the, the short version of the story is that the changes would give the party's presidential nominee more control over how individual states choose their delegates to go to the convention. Now, in this cycle, there have been a lot of fights in some states as Ron Paul supporters didn't win any primaries or caucuses, tried to exploit local rules so that he could have some delegates on the floor at the convention and thus try to influence things that happened. If the proposed new rules had been in effect this year, for example, Romney as the nominee would have had significant control over the delegate selection process. And the latest is that while it was apparently beat back yesterday, they're trying again in an end run that's, that's not ostensibly the, the same rules change that was being attempted yesterday. But the details here are not really important. The thing that we all need to know is why this is going on and what the express per why the establishment wants control of the delegates. And folks, it's very simple. The establishment Republicans want to kick the conservatives out of the party. They don't want the conservatives having any say-so in the party whatsoever. And I'll... The question is on the adoption of the resolution. All those in favor signify by saying aye. All those opposed, no. Any other chair, the ayes have it. The resolution's adopted. All those opposed, no. Teleprompter before it happened. Why was it on there before it happened? Kevin Erickson is a delegate from Minnesota. What this means is that the states will no longer retain the right under the new rules to, to uh, elect their delegates and have them stand. A, a presumptive nominee will be able to unseat an entire state's delegates if they don't like who's on the slate. Giving a presidential candidate veto power over a state's delegation means that future conventions will not have a dissenting voice. We won't be able to bring motions and amendments to our platform. We won't be able to speak for people who believe differently. You're taking a broad tent and a grassroots party and you're turning it into a dictatorship that'll be run by a few people with a lot of money. And average ordinary people like myself will be out of luck and out of a voice. The eyes have it. <laughs> um, 